The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the second book of Samuel. But that very night, the word of Yahweh came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, Yahweh says this, Are you to build me a temple for me to live in? And when your days are over, and you fall asleep with your ancestors, I shall appoint your heir, your own son, to succeed you. And I shall make his sovereignty secure. He will build a temple for my name. And I shall make his royal throne secure forever. I shall be a father to him, and he a son to me. If he does wrong, I shall punish him with a rod such as men use, with blows such as mankind gives. Your dynasty and your sovereignty will ever stand firm before me, and your throne be forever secure. And our response is from Psalm 89. For you have said, love is built to last forever. You have fixed your constancy firm in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one, sworn an oath to my servant David. I've made your dynasty firm forever, built your throne stable age after age. The heavens praise your wonders, Yahweh, your constancy in the gathering of your faithful. So I shall make him my firstborn son, the highest of earthly kings. I have established his dynasty forever, his throne to be as lasting as the heavens. And our second reading is from the letter of Paul to the Romans. For the promise to Abraham and his descendants that he should inherit the world was not through the law, but through the uprightness of faith. That is why the promise is to faith so that it comes as a free gift and is secure for all the descendants, not only those who rely on the law, but all those others who rely on the faith of Abraham, the ancestor of us all. As Scripture says, I've made you the father of many nations. Abraham is our father in the eyes of God, in whom he put his faith, and who brings the dead to life and calls into existence what does not yet exist. Though there seemed no hope, he hoped and believed that he was to become father of many nations in fulfillment of the promise. Just so will your descendants be. This is the faith that was reckoned to him as uprightness. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jacob fathered Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called Christ. This is how Jesus Christ came to be born. His mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph. But before they came to live together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being an upright man and wanting to spare her disgrace, decided to divorce her informally. He had made up his mind to do this when suddenly the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because she has conceived what is in her by the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you must name him Jesus, because he is the one who is to save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had told him to do. He took his wife to his home. The Gospel of the Lord.